Hey everybody, Christopher Beast here. Vigor Season 13 is finally in the preview build, which means that partners can now see what type of content and show it to the rest of the community we should be expecting going into Season 13. One of the prime pieces of content and main pieces of content that comes with every new season is the new Battle Pass. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Season 13 Battle Pass. So let's just go right into this. I'm going to start off, uh, we're just going to buy all 75 letter rolls, which is a 5,000 crown purchase. So um, that's going to be a, r a little shy of $100. $100 being um, 6,000 crowns around, I think, if I got my conversions correct. So buying all the tiers, still, still quite expensive. I, I don't really uh, advise it for anyone. Starting off, we have Tier 1, Battle Dress Uniform, Chocolate Chip. This is right away getting us straight into a military-esque season. Um, and that seems to be the general trend of the entire Battle Pass. Uh, a mill season has been much requested for a long time. Uh, they're, they're always the most popular thing with the community. And it, it's nice to see. I, I like it. It's, it's a nice change of pace. Last mill season was season 10, so a while ago. Um, almost, almost a year now, uh, season 10 came out. Um, very nice, you know, you got the American flag, it's, I think it's the first cosmetic in the game to feature it besides the M16 USA flag. Um, nice camouflage, it's also quite simple, it's not, it's not too much. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this. For Tier 1, it's already off to a great start. Um, tier 2, we have a new ballistic helmet, a chocolate chip. I like ballistic helmets, good with this military theme, let's just keep rolling. Tier 3, we get our hands on the Barry M12, which is the new SMG coming out this season. We get our hands on one of them, and we also get a new um, cosmetic for it, a new weapon skin, and that's Evron skin. This skin is fucking phenomenal. I love it. I love its colors, its graffiti, its, its camo. It's great. I love Evron. You know, that's Armor Reforger reference. I play a lot of Reforger, so for me, this season is mucho bene. I'm very, very much uh, a fan of what is generally going on here. Moving from there, we got some threat padded gloves. It's it's cool idea with the gloves. Um, I'm not someone that cares too much about the gloves because you can't really see them on other players. They're not a cosmetics that's very um, visible. But I think it's a, a nice idea to stick the threat symbol on a pair of gloves. Uh, and it's, it's nice. From there, we have, however you pronounce that, chocolate chip. I have no idea how to pronounce that word. It looks like Kolo Balk. Um, I'm guessing it's some type of Soviet uh, backpack. I, I don't really know, and I'm sure someone who does know will tell me what it is. But it's a nice little backpack, but I, I don't know. I don't really run backpacks like this. Next up, we have Chocolate Chip Bandana. Um, same with the same color scheme, same camo scheme, just moving it on to other cosmetic items, and I like bandanas. So it's it's nice. I think it's not as nice. Um, the color scheme doesn't really fit this cosmetic as much as it did the ballistic helmet, but it, it works. It works. From here we have an eye patch. As somebody who wears an eye patch for light sensitivity, I like this. This is nice. This is cute. I like this a lot. Also, in, in realistic practicality terms, I think it is a very nice cosmetic to have in this game. It, it's definitely going to add to a lot of people's uh, customization of trying to create characters that look more grunge. Um, and I think it's a nice cosmetic to add, and it's it just well done. Moving from there, we got the BGS Splinter RPK. This is a very military camo s skin. I like it. It looks very nice. It looks like it's straight out of a, you know, Arma 3 type game, and I'm a fan of that. From there, we have the OKZK cap. Pretty sure that's something Soviet. I'm not certain, though. Either way, I like it. It looks very cool. I think it's... A nice cosmetic item for the head, um, especially since going into um, headwear, uh, there's been a lot of competition over the last couple of seasons to make the best headwear. You know, you had the Viking helmets, you had Snedek Yushanka. It, they've just been piling on it, and they've got more competition for that title of best um, headwear outfit. So it's going to be poor players who have all these great headwear cosmetics. Definitely got lots of customization options moving into the part of the character that really is going to be the, the thing that most people are focusing on uh, when it comes to cosmetics. From here we get our Deliverance title, this title being called Private Second Class, that's the lowest rank of it. It's just a little, um, you know, rank emblem from what you'd see in a military, which definitely does reaffirm that this season is going to have a military S theme. From there, we have Hand Injury, which I, um, no bueno. 
I don't really like this. I think it looks kind of stupid. Moving on. Paratoba Tan. I like it. Nice military backpacks. going to work with a lot of mill builds. Um, but the same as I said about the earlier backpacks, I don't use backpacks. So, so, so guys, headband. Headband 4. Headband 4. Hey, you guys know you know Rambo? You know the John? You know the M M249? Oh my god. Rambo. Rambo. I'm just saying, we need a shirtless model. We need the shirtless Outlander. I'm just saying, stick this on the shirtless Outlander and we got Rambo. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, devs. I'm just saying. You don't have to credit me. You know? <laughs> but I really like this item. I feel like it's going to work with a lot of American S builds um, and really mill builds in general. From here, we have that. Split Tartan Mooster for the G3, uh, the SG one. Um, again, as I've been saying about these camos, these are mill camos, which is what I've been wanting. We've, we've got a military season. We've got mill camos. It's like it's straight out of fucking Arma 3. I could literally cry with how happy I am because this is the shit we needed in the game when it comes to the cosmetics. We needed some more military shit. We've had... I love the scientists. Don't get me wrong. Season 12, the scientists were beautiful. Season 11 with the Vikings, beautiful. Season 10's military cosmetics, though, were really lacking in a lot of aspects. And, it, and that definitely created a demerit where... You know, Vigo is a lot of shooting. We need military shit. We need it. Okay, I need my shit to look like I am a soldier sometimes. And uh, this is definitely going to help with that situation tenfold. From there, we got some new gloves. These are deer skin gloves. And as I said earlier, I don't really care too much about gloves. And this thing's not even special, unlike the threat one. So, no bueno, in my opinion. From there, Dewey helmet, frog skin. Fucking love this. This this we need more of this this is fucking hot i like this a lot military camouflage geely helmets beautiful it's very nice honestly this is the type of thing that if they had put it in the store sold it at the same price as those gold camos they've been selling they would have gotten people to buy it and i'm happy it's in the battle pass because honestly you know you know i don't have to spend my crowns on it anymore you might twenty three thousand crowns uh, <laughs> from there we get another skin with evron uh this is for the lashiav and it's it's very nice. It, I think the Evron skin. I really think the camos in this season in general are are just well done. And I really um I'm happy to see the direction. I should also note here the Evron skin from what I was checking, um uh, uh cosmetic wise seems to be on the the weapons that aren't in the battle pass with the Evron skin seem to have it available to buy in the store. So if you have a favorite weapon that you want the Evron skin on, I think. I'm not 100% certain, but I think you should be able to get it on any weapon, which is really nice, and I'm, again, big fan. Mocho Bene. Next up, we have Field Radio Olive. I like this. Very nice backpack, um, especially considering uh, Reforger is lots of radios, lots of, lots of very big technicalities. I've been playing a lot of Reforger. This is definitely a Reforger-inspired update. There is no question about that. Um, and this just, you know, if you want to have a radio dude, Slap on the backpack. I love it. Trey Bien. Next, we have the Evron bandana. Upon seeing the Evron skin upon the bandana, I have just realized something, that the Evron skin is actually the FIA colors in um, Reforger. So if you're a Reforger player, you know what the FIA is. That's those colors. It does make it, it raise a question of Invigor's lore. Is the FIA in, in Norway now? Um, and I, I think that's going to be a question that VSL and myself are going to have to to figure out once we get these cassettes in our hands. And I feel like this is going to be a big lore season. I'm really excited for all of the prospects of us finally having uh, uh, a lot of solutions about the pre-war situation. Moving on from there, we got Private First Class title. Looks cool. We're moving on. There's not too much to talk about there. We got some padded gloves. Again, not too much to talk about. Let's keep going. The Afghanka hat. It's a, it's a cow. I know it's not a cowboy hat, okay? I know. I'm going to call it a cowboy hat, and somebody's going to go off like, no, you don't know the historical significance of it. But listen, Misa like a cowboy hat. Cowboy hat. Misa happy. I am simple man. I am a very simple man. You give me cowboy hat, I'm going to be happy. I don't care if it's a more accurate cowboy hat. Because then maybe that's what that is. I'm taking it. Okay. Moving on. I also feel like that connects more to the Soviets. Which again. You know. Getting into the more serious sides of this. 
is giving the players what they have been asking for with a Soviet you know, cosmetic pack. Splitter Mooster, ZAM76. Again, as I said on that SG1, it's a great fucking camo. It's a very great camo. Seeing it on the ZAM76, even fucking better. Moving on. The PMG mask, white. I just said the players have been asking for Soviet skins. And the devs are going, oh, here you go. Here's your, here's your Soviet skins. Here's a lot of them. So now we can all be happy little Soviets sprinting around in post-apocalyptic Norway. From there, we have the FIA uniform. I was talking about the FIA, FIA earlier in Reforger's War, um, and this is definitely tying it much closer. It does confirm that the FIA is likely in Norway, um, which raises a lot of questions. Uh, questions I hope we get the answers of. Um, but beautiful fucking skin. Splitter Muster being the color scheme. It, it is really, really well done. Um, and it, it honestly looks like it comes straight out of Reforger, which I'm not objecting to because Reforger is a very pretty game. Moving on from there, we got the SSH-68, Soviet helmet, Soviet skull helmet, helmet Soviet. From there, BGS Splinter on the B-93 Rafika. This is kind of the first L this Battle Pass is taking when it comes to camos. Um, the Rafika has some of the best weapon skins in the game from seasons ago. Uh, this this isn't really going to be able to compete with what's on the Rafika already, sadly. So I don't feel like this um, this was really the, the best skin uh, we're getting here. Rocket Holster. Again, that's an asset ripped rip straight from um, Armor of Forger. I recognize it. It's beautiful. I'm not objecting. From there, we have Deerskin Gloves. Not much to talk about as I said earlier, but I guess they look nice. Uh, we get another title, and we can move into Tier 31. Headband bandana, frog skin, again we got more Rambo shit, I'm all for it, I'm all for it. We got some Black Ops field radio, um, I don't really know if your Black Ops teams are carrying radios into battle, but if they are, no, power to them, power to them, they got, they got that radio, just to go ahead. Next we got Splinter on the ADR, looks great, these camos. Really, really fucking well job, whoever did. I mean, uh, to give a quick, ex like, like, sh to highlight a detail here, you can see the, the wood grain, I guess it's wood grain, on that stock, and it's it's fucking phenomenal. I, I love it. Well fucking done. Huey Helmet Step. This is nice. If you're a, a Felcanton player, your life's about to end. I mean, why are you a Felcanton player? It really should be the root question here. But, um... Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> good luck, Falcanta players. I mean, I always wish you guys good luck because I don't understand how you guys play that map. Next, we have Afghanica Olive. This looks straight up like a Soviet uniform. It probably is. Uh, actually, it looks like the Reforger uh, Soviet uniform. So, Soviets, you guys, if we want to create the Soviet characters from the lore, which there most likely will be a lot added with this season, here we go. They're here. We can recreate them. From here, we got Deerskin Gloves Brown. Again, not much to talk about, really, with that. And then we got Evron on the A1. Evron's a beautiful skin. It looks very nice. The A1 is a beautiful gun, design-wise. So oh, they just, they mesh well. They mesh well. Moving to tier 38, we have the FIA cap, the green TTS Co. I'm sure there's a way you're supposed to pronounce that, but I don't know it. The FIA... Related cosmetics in general raises lots of questions lore-wise, questions I am excited for, and ignoring that, this is just a cool-looking hat. Yeah, I think it just all blends and meshes very well. From there, we got another one of those words I can't pronounce, but this one on olive. Don't really got much to say, so it kind of just looks like a rack sack to me, but I'm uncultured in this type of uh, history. So, moving on. We got the split on Mooster on the RPK-74. As I've been saying, great fucking pretty pretty design camo is pretty i like looking at bright greens going to help you blend in bush but not too much to be campy i like it so moving on another one of these uh backpacks color walk hiker but there's actually something written on this backpack um and i'm gonna probably later on try and see what that is if i remember probably won't. Next up, we got a ballistic helmet with goggles. We got a new frog skin. I'm vibing. 
Then, tier 44 is when you don't unlock the Berry M12 plan. So it is a decent bit through the Battle Pass. It makes you question um, how strong this weapon is for them to put it like kind of in the midpoint of the Battle Pass. It's not an early or a late. But it is a purple gun. Um, so it's, it's, that's nice. I vibe. Battle dress uniform, frog skin. We got some more military uniforms. This one in frog skin colors. It looks nice. I vibe. Anyway, we have a frog skin bandana. Not much to talk about here. Frog skin vibes. Then we got the BGS Splinter on the Remy. Again, with these, you know, rare L's being taken by the camo team. Not how I would have done the Remy. Um, but again, maybe I'm being too picky here. I just, I don't visually like how this looks. I feel like it could have been done uh, a little better by weaving some of the wood exposed, especially around the trigger area. But I am a picky bastard, so it is hard to please me. But not a big fan of how the BGS Splinter skin looks on the Remy. We got another rocket holster, this one darker colors, so not much to talk about. We got an adrenaline shot. This is going to be the new cos uh, consumable that's coming with this season. You unlock the plan for it at tier 49. Moving from there, we got another title. But Dan, Dan, Bobosh, we can stick the split horn moster on our revolver. So when we're sprinting around the Outlands in the gold, our golden little revolver that's like overpriced as hell and is kind of bad, we can, we can look swaggy. We can look awesome. We can prove that our overpriced pistol is not us compensating, but us just wanting to look cool. And then we die. But regardless, I think this looks fucking cool. I think this is... I am very happy. I am very happy. Continuing. I've got a hot gray. This looks like a sheriff from Texas. Moving on. <laughs> Field radio. Hotline. I'm sure this is going to have some connection to the lore, but I think we should all notice the red phone. Um, red phones, if I'm not wrong, have shown up in Vigor ARGs in the past. So... Already something for us to keep an eye out for when the lore releases um, with the full release. Next up, we got the FIA Cap Evron, ripped straight from Reforger, and it looks just as good as it did in that game. It's great. I'm a fan. Moving on. I've got a Caflora. Looks nice. I don't think it looks as nice as some of the other versions of the Alphagonica. Um, it kind of reminds me a lot of the other mill outfits we got in, I think, Season 8 that is the same color palette and kind of looks pretty similar um, without any major differences. Uh, so this one's I'm a little M on. Next we have same of that color, uh, a Perotoba, but in the flora color, so it looks cool. We have Bandage Fresh. Yeah, this is a little bit more, as I said earlier, if you want to do a little bit more gritty character building, this is definitely going to make it more possible. We got the Evron on the Bugle. This is a gun that needs this type of skin. The Bugle is a very showy gun, much like the A1, and the Evron skin is very showy, so I think it looks very nice. Grim Helmet Forest. I, I love this. This is very, very nice. I adore. Uh, just, we need... It's not a ghillie suit, so it's not gonna, like, be the problem. I, honestly, though, I like ghillie suits. We need cool stuff. I want cool stuff. This looks cool. Cosmetics aren't really gonna give you a real advantage in this game anyway. Everybody's running the gold rifles and the purple... Uh, the bright purple skins, so I, I doubt we should really need to worry about that issue. Um, so, so let us have, let us look adorable. Um, our little scrimwear. Next up, head injury white. I didn't like the first one. I don't like this one any better. This one honestly looks kind of like, I don't even know what it looks like. Especially with this Admusen beard. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. I'm sorry. It looks like those pilot, uh, like outfits they put on in like Star Wars. Where it makes them look bald. Maybe I'm fucking weird. Okay, next one. Wizard come with the goggles, chocolate chip. I really like the chocolate chip coloring, and I think it looks nice here, too. Bandage all-seeing. No. Moving on. Rocket holster Evron. If you want to do an FIA build, you can literally just do it a complete FIA build in this game now, which I'm I'm all for. Battle dress uniform forest. Looks very nice. I like the forest color scheme. It looks, it looks very nice. I like it. Moving on. The SSH-68 military police. Oh, Soviet. Soviet. C'est très bien. Oh, actually, uh, that's French. I, I don't know any Russian. Um, but I love it. It's very nice. Definitely um, what players have been asking for. BGS Splinter L86A1 LSW. It looks 
it's great. Uh, it's a great uh, camo, and uh, I think it works nice on this gun. I I don't really know if I like the decision to change the um, grip to a greener color. I feel like it would have been more accentuated if it was a whiter color. But again, I'm literally just fucking neck picking because I'm really hard to please. Um, padded gloves, tan. No, continuing. Um, o K Z K cap desert. The same stuff I said about the previous one. I don't like this color scheme as much, so moving on. Here we get to our final row. We got no. I'm not talking about the head injury because I've already complained about it twice. I'm not going to do it again. Uh, Peritoba Evron. I really like the Evron color scheme and I really like this backpack. Um, the Evron L85A1. It's, it's nice. It's really, really nice. It's a nice camo. I've said that all so many times throughout this video when saying it again. I don't feel like it's necessary. Uh, the PMG mask, Black Ops. Um, I, f I don't really like the blue in the eyes, but everything, uh, uh it feels kind of, nah, nah, that's my only complaint with it. I don't like the blue in the eyes, and this isn't really my type of cosmetic, so I can't really talk too much praise on it. Bringing us up on the final tier, you can get Deliverance First Sergeant and the FIA Uniform Evron. Um, so you can, you can finally have the full kit of being a soldier from Evron. It's great. So, all in all... Um, I really did do like the the battle pass in this season. I think it is very nice. I did want to check out if the writing on that backpack is legible. So let's do that real quick before I forget. This one, right? Uh, it's not. If if it is, I don't think I'm able to read it from here. I zoom. Backpack. Uh, yeah, I would probably need a second player to read that. It's not legible. Oh well. Um, but I really do like this battle pass overall. I think the the new cosmetics are really nice, and I really like how they are possibly going to tie in vigor really strongly into the armorverse, which is something the lore has been needing for quite some time. Um, that is really all I've got for you guys today, though. Um, I'll be making more content on the preview build as the days move on, but. That's really all I got for you guys today. Hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time.